All right, the first thing you want to do, find a nice, long, grassy area. You're going to set up this tarp. The tarp's going to be 40 feet long. It's going to give you a good idea of how much space you're going to need for setting up the inflatable. You'll be able to move that tarp around, get it in the position you want before you get the inflatable out. Or once you get the tarp laid out in the position in your yard where you want it, you want to take those nails and washers and stake the four corners. The corners of the tarp have reinforcing on them and they have a little grommet hole. So you want to pull the tarp tight, that way the, the wind won't blow the tarp around while you're trying to set up the inflatable and it won't blow around when, during the event. Definitely want to set up any water slide on grass. Absolutely never set it up on any type of asphalt, concrete, any surface like that, that if a kid or anybody was sliding around on it would get hurt. Once you got the tarp out, you're going to take the bag, uh, the unit while it's still in the bag, just roll it over to the back. It's going to start setting up from the back end where the blower and the hose hook up. That's where the kids exit. You really don't want to take it out of the bag until you get it right where you want to set it up. And it's going to go right on that back end, pull the bag off. So he's got the two straps. Uh, make sure you hang on to those straps. You're going to need them when you're done. It needs to be strapped before you bag it when you're bringing it back. We just leave them underneath the, the unit itself. And he's going to unroll it across the tarp. The dual lane slip and slides will come up about 10 foot short. We got a little bit of room where the kids will run on the tarp before they land onto the slip and slide. There'll be some Velcro flaps to help you deflate it when you're done. Just want to make sure that you check all those. There's going to be some on the side. Just make sure the Velcro is pressed down really good before you try to inflate it. It's going to have two tubes in the back. She's just closing off one of them. They both have straps on them. You only need the, the one blower that's provided, even though there's two tubes. The one tube you don't use, just close off with the strap. The other tube you're going to put around the, the blower, take that strap, bring it around, and buckle it really tight. So you got the Velcro flaps closed, the, the tube is strapped off, the blower's on, you go ahead and turn it on. It's going to take, the dual lane slip and slide takes about three or four minutes to blow up. If it doesn't blow up after a few minutes, then that probably means either the tube is twisted or kinked on the blower, or one of the flaps is open, because it will blow it up pretty quickly. Once it's blowing up, you can take the garden hose, take your garden hose that's hooked up to your water supply, and you're going to attach it to the hose that's on the uh, slip and slide. The slip and slide has a hose on it, and it has holes in the slip and slide, or excuse me, it has holes in the hose for the slip and slide, and that's going to spray water out. It's just a regular garden hose hook up. You can see the hose, it runs all the way down the slip and slide. You're going to take the the nails that are provided in the nail bag and you're going to stake down the corners of the Turn the water on, you're only going to need to turn it on about a quarter of a turn, just enough to where the water hose is uh, spraying on the two lanes and not overshooting. If you turn it wide open it will shoot water all the way over the water slide onto the yard and not get it 